Hi, and welcome to the Oil & Gas Overview Series, brought to you by Cisco Systems. I'm Roland Plett, your host, and I invite you to look into a little bit more about what Cisco has to offer oil and gas at cisco.com slash go slash oil and gas. Enjoy. Sustainability in Oil and Gas In response to the United Nations climate change programs, every major oil and gas energy company has announced big investments to reach sustainability goals in the next 20 years. In this video, we'll explore some of the ways that these energy companies plan to meet these goals. Each energy company has a slightly different approach to reaching net zero carbon emissions. That's the metric for this energy transition. The most common plan elements are new ventures into alternative energy sources, more sustainable operations, direct removal of carbon from the atmosphere, and carbon credits. Let's explore each of these four transition strategies to take a look, and then we'll take a look at how Cisco is working with the industry to help make them a reality. First, alternative energy ventures. By now, many oil and gas companies have rebranded as energy companies to reflect their interest in multiple energy sources beyond hydrocarbons. In addition to the name change, every major energy company has made financial investments in new energy ventures. Solar projects, wind farms, and hydrogen plants are the most prevalent choices for investment by upstream companies. Midstream companies are repurposing pipelines to transport hydrogen, and some have invested in electric transmission lines. Downstream companies are interested in hydrogen production, and the retail companies are keen to add EV charging to their gas stations. At a minimum, companies are experimenting with new energy business models. Some companies are being even bolder. For example, Shell acquired Ubitricity with the intention of taking a leadership role in the EV charging market. Now the second strategy, sustainable operations. Energy companies, like many others, have a well-articulated sustainability plan with a commitment to reduce scope one and scope two carbon emissions. They're exploring more energy efficient ways to produce product, and they're also developing new processes with lower greenhouse gas emissions. The third strategy, carbon capture and storage. Many oil and gas processes release high volumes of CO2 and methane into the atmosphere. While there's still work to be done, significant effort has already been made by the industry to reduce these volumes. The most common method of reducing these emissions is to capture the greenhouse gases compress them and then push them deep into underground reservoirs for indefinite storage. Other approaches for storage are being developed, but this initial approach has many benefits to the industry and it's the most straightforward way to do this as an early solution. The fourth strategy is carbon credits. The International Energy Agency has already identified that in their most aggressive net zero plan, the world will still need 25% of oil, today's oil production and 45% of today's gas production beyond 2050. As a result, the producers of these energy products will need to offset their carbon footprint with carbon credits. Energy companies will purchase carbon reduction credits from companies that have already reduced their carbon footprints. Although this isn't the most desired solution for the environment, it is necessary to meet the world's energy needs during the energy transition. In addition to payments for offsets, these energy producers will also need to pay carbon taxes to fund new alternative energy development and climate mitigation efforts around the world. Now let's look at four ways that Cisco can help these companies meet their goals. Cisco has a history of using technology to contribute to sustainability initiatives like power efficiencies, supply chain sustainability, environmental monitoring and compliance, and providing data transport for sustainability projects. Let's take a look at four ways that Cisco can help. First, we have experience in energy transition. Over the last decade, Cisco has worked with several energy customers to provide secure communication infrastructure for solar deployments, wind farms, and other new energy initiatives. These experiences are documented in reference architectures and case studies. As the energy transition gains momentum, this pool of experience continues to grow, and new types of initiatives like EV charging networks, energy storage, and carbon capture and storage are going to become more common 
and our experience portfolio will grow as well. Second, efficient power usage. Cisco has deployed several smart building and campus solutions that monitor and optimize power usage and reduce energy consumption and CO2 emissions from buildings. Many of these solutions are first deployed at Cisco to showcase our own sustainability accomplishments and direction. The solutions in this practice are applicable across all industries, and several of them can be applied to the heavy industry facilities as well. The third way is sustainable supply chain. To influence a sustainable supply chain, Cisco has intentionally changed its approach. We've begun shifting 100% of new products to circular design principles, reducing the use of virgin plastic by 20% and reducing packaging foam by 75%. Cisco often works with customers to share what they are learning in these initiatives to make similar transitions easier for our customers. These initiatives span both enterprise practices and industrial practices. The fourth way is emission monitoring and control. Energy companies must measure and control multiple emissions metrics to ensure that they are meeting their corporate and regulatory goals. Cisco has a comprehensive experience in managing communication and data flow from industrial sensors or systems. Cisco partners like Emerson and Honeywell both have specific emissions monitoring solutions that they offer to their customers. And Cisco integrates with these solutions very well. In summary, as energy companies develop new sustainable ways of doing business, Cisco can help them accelerate the anticipated benefits. The precision of a digital operation derives out waste. In new sustainable ventures, we become more effective with visibility, management, and security of a Cisco infrastructure. Find out more about how Cisco helps oil and gas operators with sustainability at cisco.com slash go slash oil and gas.